going on, YouTube? United Gamer here, and welcome to episode two of the Pokemon Sun Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. How are you guys all doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day, and if you're not, believe me, I understand. My day has been quite rough myself with finals week coming up. Man, I'm just tired, but it, it feels so nice to be sitting here and recording this series. I'm so ready to get in today's episode because, guys, this is where it goes down. This is where we actually begin our adventure here in the Alola region. We have wild and Encounters coming up. We have some battles coming up. There's no telling what could happen in today's episode So if you're hyped for this as much as I am be sure to show your love by smacking that like button I appreciate all the support on the series so far. You guys are killing it You know a lot of you said you were new to my channel You know found me from Omega Ruby and even found me from part one of this series alone So welcome. I hope you have a great time here, you know get to know me uh, You know add me on snapchat Twitter, you know join the discord chat links are in the description below But let's go ahead and get today's episode Comic question of the day as I go ahead and talk to our babe Lily down here What was your very first generation of Pokemon? You know, I like to ask this early on just because you know I have younger viewers I have older viewers just to get to know you a little bit That's what all these comic questions are about and to have your chance to be nicknamed a Pokemon on this journey Lily What are you talking about? We have an encounter down here because I'm pretty sure this is the outskirts, so it's not Route 1. Guys, we're starting off strong in today's episode because we're going to get a random encounter. Um, but for me, I even started late on Pokemon. You know, I started with Gen 3, and I'm 22, so that's honestly kind of late for my age. I started when I was in 4th grade, and I absolutely fell in love with it and played all the classics, played all the new games, and I don't see me ever start uh, stopping. So, guys, let us start the episode off. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just in case you're just tuning in, we're going to go ahead and cover our beautiful team that we got so fortunate to have. We got Baruto here, the surprise MVP of the team. Just, I mean, Tapu Koko, I love you, but this this was a shock. He has up an attack, he's dragging a rock type, and look at this. Learning Outrage at level 6. This little boy is using Outrage. He's he's ready, he's coming to play. And then we got Tapu Koko, the ground and dark type Pokemon that already knows Crunch and Dig. 80 power with stab, a nice speed stat, and attack stat. We're looking nice to, you know, to start the series off, but let's go ahead and see if we can add to this wonderful team of the United Family. What do we got? Come on, baby. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Well, this scares me. This scares me really bad. I wish I didn't start with Bruto either. I don't know what type it is. I don't know what type it is. And its stats are already going to be good. I mean, freaking, we have an Ninkata that learned dra or, uh, Outrage at level 6. What could a Deoxys know? Normally, it would know, like, Rap, and that's it. But... What type is it and what moves will it know? <sighs> We're gonna keep Ninkat out here and use Scratch just to see what kind of type it is. Come on, don't use. He's gone! Goodbye. Goodbye, Ninkata. Forgot. I completely forgot that <laughs> he's not bug type. I just said that he's dragging a rock. I completely forgot he's not bug. Bugging ground. Okay, well, we're all right. And he even took some damage, so we're going to heal. We have some potions. I'm sorry. I kind of just panicked that I already had, I already added episode two to our death counter. It's going to take time for me to get used to these po- I've never done an extreme randomizer before. I'm not- It's- It is- Okay, we're, we're dragging, though. We're okay. That did some damage, and it's going to heal itself. Oh, we can't- mm, We can't switch to Tapu Koko, though. He's ground. Alright, so it's grass. Is it just grass? No, it, is it grass and flying? What a type combo. Oh, I was hoping you use Brave Bird. Okay, how much damage is it going to do? We shouldn't do too much. Okay, we can take... Wait, that was a crit. We can definitely take another hit. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and try for a peck. It, I, it might not kill... We don't have stab. It should do... Super effective. No. What the heck type is it? Alright. Was that another crit? Wow, Deoxys, you're coming to play. Well, we're gonna try to catch this thing. I know the catch rate is absolute garbage, but you know, we're gonna try. Why not? Oh, no, no, no. I meant to use a potion first. We're not gonna lose any Pokemon in doing so. All right, so Brave Bird. What the heck? What type is it? Thank you. Thank you for doing that. You're gonna hurt yourself, and then we can use Peck one more time, and then we can use a Pokeball. That... Was that a crit, or did you just do that much? You just did that much. You did 15, so a crit from that will kill us. So we're going to heal up again, 
I might just run from this. You know, this is really risky. I know it kind of sucks to not get an encounter, but guys, like, not a crit, not a crit. Yes, not a crit. Let's go, baby. Okay, I shouldn't heal it that much because it wasn't a crit. We can use... <sighs> we'll use Crunch. Don't be super effective. Don't be super effective. Be not very effective. Not very effective. Yes! No, it killed it anyway. Dang it. It was not very effective. Well, I know it stabbed 80 damage, but I was just hoping for the best. I can't just keep using Peck, using Absorb and healing itself. It wouldn't have done anything. So at least we got some great AXP from that. That's At least that's worth it. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't get the Deoxys. Kind of sucks that it's a Legendary. Legendaries early game are just so hard to get, you know, because of their catch rate and their stats. Uh, that was that was going to be risky. What type was it? It was not very effective, so it was Grass. A Duskull. I would have rathered that. It's okay, though. Let's just go ahead and make sure we get out of here, though. Naruto, are you weak? You're kind of weak. Can you get out of there? You got away safely. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, well, you know what? We're going to go ahead, right? No, no, we're good. We're at the end. I was about to say we're going to switch to Tapu. We're going to do a battle. Okay. I, I'm just trying to go to Professor Kukui, but we're going to go ahead and start the episode off with a battle since we did not get a Pokemon. All right. What you got here? Last Madison. Surprise me. Something good. Okay. Okay. You know, nothing too major. Uh, uh, we, we can handle it. That's all right. We got Outrage, so... As long as you're not fairy, we're completely all right. Uh, let's go ahead and hit it with an outrage and see what type it is. Astonish. Okay. It's not gonna really do anything. Go ahead and hit it with an outrage. <laughs> I can't believe he's using outrage. <laughs> okay. And we're faster and you're gone. It was nice knowing you. Give me that XP. Static. Okay. All right. Well, we'll, we'll be paralyzed. That's that's fine. All right. Was it electric? All right, last Madison. Actually, I think just abilities are random in general, so it doesn't really matter. Like, anybody can have anything. No matter what the typing may actually be, I still can- I still, like, freaked out with that freaking Brave Bird from that Deoxys. I thought we were absolutely gone. All right, so, uh, let's go ahead and talk to our girl here as the professor gets physically abused by the Pokemon. <laughs> I never quite understood that about this game, but, um, the Pokemon Research Lab has its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. I've actually been, um, imposing on the professor here for about the past three months. I'm not much of an assistant, but it it's at least I can do to pay back for letting me stay, you know? Maybe I'd be more help if I were a real Pokemon trainer, too. I'm just so useless. I don't know what else to do. The professor, he never stops researching moves. He's so inspirational. Not even inside the lab himself, or itself. Looks like we'll have to patch up the roof again. And I just got done washing his lab coat and finally got it clean from all the blood. And now it's all shreds and I'm not good at mending clothes. Dylan, I'm just useless. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I'm really going to make her like... Just a drama queen in this episode. Not to, not to be sexist or anything, all you girl fans. Just just adding personality to the characters. How's gonna be that annoying from that will never leave you alone shadowing you ever move? Because apparently that's where Nintendo is headed. You know, Game Freak is headed with their their rivals. It's not it's not it's not the jerky people from back in the day, the douchebags that you just couldn't wait to beat them in a Pokemon battle like first gen. If you've played Red or Fire Red, you know, with Gary, man, it just doesn't it I mean, at least for me, it's something I really missed in the newer generations of Pokemon. This one wasn't wasn't too bad. I hated six gen uh rivals. I did not like X and Y with the rivals. Um, but they're just so friendly, you know, I miss like them being jerks and then me beating them and feeling so good when I beat them But here we're getting Rotom the Pokemon deck or uh, added to the Pokedex uh, Which I thought was really cool about this game You know, I would rather just kind of have Rotom himself have him on my team see what kind of type he uh, may have I, I, I would rather that but I'll take a uh, Rotom Pokedex. He's you know, he's just there to help us out and kind of be annoying and pop up and talk from time to time. <laughs> uh, but, I, yeah, I'm sorry I just kind of went on a little rant real quick. I don't know, is that just me or is that anybody else that really misses those old kind of, like, rivals? You know, that just, you just can't wait to beat them in a Pokemon battle. It's such, I think first gen did it perfect. Per first and second gen especially, like, with, um, I can't remember his name for a second. This is the red hair guy, Red. It's not Red, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, I really just I miss that about the game. I really hope someday we I mean at least if they like ever remake You know first gym, which I bet eventually they will do I'll, I can't wait to play that and have that rival and just feel so So amazing when I beat him <laughs> or not if I do randomize or nose like because there's no telling what pope people will have 
So I decided to give him this special Rotom deck so I can, or to help him navigate around because obviously he is freaking lost here in the Lola region, which is really cool because they actually have checkpoints in this game. So you, I mean, not like Pokemon's really hard or anything like that. It's really not that difficult to figure out where to go as long as you at least read the dialogue. Um, but it, it's really helpful here in this game. I, I loved that about this game. We got Hal here, our friendly neighbor, best friend. That started off with my boy Totodile and made me kill. So I'm not I'm not too much of a fan of him. Yeah, I, I mean maybe maybe it'll change. We we love our girl Lily as drama you know as dramatic as she is. But if you see a person or a Pokemon who needs help, you just help them, right, Dylan? You, you just you're just that kind of guy. You're so you're so giving. So Dylan, I'm leaving you this Rotom Dex in your hands. Rotom, you look after Dylan, eh? Oh, so you got the Rotom Dex, eh? It's kind of cute. Hey, he's went Canadian, eh? Not offending any Canadians. A oh, fun fact though, um, as I mentioned, I you know I just went on my honeymoon and all. We went to Mexico and there has this Canadian family and they fit the stereotype. They are like, oh that's a nice eh? that's a nice lake, eh? Oh, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Like I'm not saying that's what Canadians talk about because I have you know Canadian YouTube friends, but they they fit the stereotype and it made me so happy. I, it filled me with so much joy. I mean I don't really fit my stereotype, a redneck cousin loving you know. All that fun stuff. Yeah. I, there are people that do. All right, I'm getting sidetracked. Hey, uh, here. Everybody in the island gets one of these island cha uh, challenge amulets. So if you don't know about this region, um, it is not gym badges, which is really awesome. I mean, I'm sure all of you know. I don't know why I'm explaining this. Um, it's actually island trials. There's seven trials, and then you beat the kahunas. This game did a really good job with adding something different, but not too much change. But to the trainer school, well, we're actually going to get some new encounters, some new battles, and, you know, we haven't had anything, like, drastic yet in these Pokemon battles, you know, nothing too, like, major. So, let's just go ahead, you know, we're done. So, Lily, you take care of Dylan, yeah? Until he gets used to Rotom, help him find his way around. I got it, Lily, I got it, you don't have to help me, girl. You just stay here and please the professor, alright? You know, we, we're Sharon. Sharon is Karen. And enough, you know, you know, talking. We're gonna go ahead and head up here. Uh, we didn't battle this kid, so hold on. I don't think we held up our Pokemon, which we... Nope, and he's paralyzed. So, we're gonna switch out to Killua. And then we're gonna visit a Pokemon Center to get some healing done. We're gonna get Killua out front, which he's on a nice high level right now. Uh, sadly, he will never evolve or anything, but that, that's alright. I mean, I, I don't really want a different type. That's awesome. If I can keep him this entire game, having that grounded dark type is really good. A Bronzong! Oh, I would have loved to have that! On my team. Alright, so we gotta be careful. We're gonna be faster. Never mind. What am I, what am I talking about? Terravolt. Okay. Alright, well, goodbye. It was nice knowing you. Alright, even though I think even, like, all the stats are completely random. So he could actually have, like, hella speed, and I don't even know it. That, that would be terrifying. A fast, powerful Bronzong. Uh, no. No. Don't even want to think about that. And Deoxys again. Calling it. No! A Gorgas. Alright. Gorgeist. Alright, I'm done running into random trainer or people. We're just gonna get out of here and we're gonna go battle. Actually, you know what? We can always come back. I can do some off-cam training. So we're gonna avoid him because we have a lot of battling anyway. We have the trainer school up ahead. So I'm just gonna sneak by you, little kid, and you don't see me. I like how it, like, lets me know. <laughs> I don't really have to worry about it. So we're gonna head over here. Lily, hold on a moment. Let me show you the Pokemon Center first so your Pokemon don't die. Wouldn't that just be so sad? Okay, I'm, I promise. I'm gonna stop. I don't want to annoy you guys. I'm still gonna make her dramatic, but I'm not gonna just keep adding so much dialogue. I hope I'm not getting on your nerves. And I probably am, but this is the Pokemon Center. Uh, we have, you know, the usual PC, the healing, the market, all the fun stuff, you know, in Pokemon. Alright, I'd take a look if I were you. Of course I will, because I don't... Actually, no, I don't really need any Pokeballs. I don't need any potions. I want a new, I want a new member on our team, though. I like, I like Berudo, and I like... Uh, Killua, but, you know, I'm, I'm, oh, side note, a lot of you knew that was from Hunter x Hunter, and that's awesome, you know, I'm glad all you guys, d uh, d knew that. That's actually my favorite anime alongside, you know, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, uh, favorite two animes, top, for sure. And then also we got Your Line April, which is way up there, and we got Fairy Tale over there, which is also up there, which I have not watched that in a long time, uh, but I used to, like, really love that show, like, I binge-watched the crap of it. Oh, wherever should I go? Oh, yes, we have Rotom Pokedex down here. We're at the trainer school. Here we are. You see the trainer school. You know what's cool about playing this game in sun? Like, I played in moon a lot, and so, like, everything was nighttime, but I actually get to experience everything in the day now. But we're planning to go as far. Oh, but we were only planning to go as far as the trainer school anyway. Well, 
You, you, we'll just have to leave for someone else to deal with that, you know, so c come follow me, please, so we can, you know, get a Pokemon. How's everybody doing? And I even read some of you guys' comments, like, I, uh, first off, I, I love reading your guys' comments. It, I mean, sometimes I can't keep up if the video's like two months old, but if it's fresh, I read everybody's comments. I read my comments every video. Um, just so you guys know, so I love reading your guys' feedback. That's why I do the comment question, how I do, how I do it. Um, but somebody even said also that they do not like the dialogue, how it is in this game. And I com could not agree more, guys. I, I really just wish it was a little bit less. Um, especially, like, if I were to read every single bit of this, we would get nothing done in every video. That's why I don't do that. I hope you guys are completely all right with that. I mean, it's my video, so, yeah. yeah. All right, Kikui, uh, we get it. We got to go beat a certain amount of trainers, and then we're going to be Pokemon Masters, right? That's what, that's what you're saying. That's what you're filling me in on. I'm picking up what you're, you know, putting down, so. All right, well, there's none over there. It's not what I want to worry about right now, Kakui. You know, I really just want to go get me a Pokemon, so I'm I'm done with your crap. Uh, we're going to we're gonna come on in here. And this guy does not want to battle us or anything. Let's go ahead and get another Pokemon. I'm pretty sure this is a different route. I'm pretty sure. And we got... Yes! <laughs> Wait, no, it won't technically uh, evolve into freaking Tyranitar, but I will take this. It's catchable. I love Larvitar. I love Pupitar. I love Tyranitar. Um, so I will definitely try to catch this. Okay, we got to be careful. Let's hit with a peck. Should not kill it. What type are you? What type are you? No! Yes, let's go. I'm sorry. No, he used teleport. Oh. What is this luck? It was psychic? Uh, super effective with flying. No, that's not even fair. How am I supposed to know that? I want to try to catch it, but I can't now. You guys can let me know in the comment section below if I can come back and let it catch it. All right, Tauros, I'm not trying to get you. I'm going to run back into Larvitar. You can let me know if I can keep it or not. If you if you say no, I completely understand, but I still want to nickname one of you guys. I'm running into Larvitar, and I'm just going to throw a Pokeball like I would have if I knew it and you'd freaking teleport. Like, how the heck am I supposed to know that? Um, and I hope I boasted none of your eardrums. I probably did. Uh, but I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball. If I catch it, I'll keep it, and you guys can let me know. If I don't catch it, it wasn't meant to be. Alright, Lotar, we're back. I did not know you knew Teleport. Um, and I'm super effective with Peck. If you just wouldn't have used that, I would have definitely caught you. Okay, let's just try. One Pokeball. Come on. I'm feeling lucky. You wanna stay in the Pokeball. One! Nope, wouldn't have mattered. Okay. And go ahead and use teleport. So that's all he knew. I wonder what type he was. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It was not meant to be. Lavatar cannot be on our team. Dang it, that sucks. Like, we just haven't had good luck with catching Pokemon yet. Lavatar and Deoxys, like, that knows teleport? Come on. What the heck? All right, so we know this guy's down here. We'll go ahead and battle you, sir. How you doing? Well, you know what? No, I'm standing here because I'm the strongest. That's why. I won't ever bother battling you unless you beat everyone else here. Oh, yeah. I forgot. We got to be beat him last. God, that killed my, <laughs> that killed my voice. All right. All right. Trainer, trainer, trainers. Actually, we got to actually talk to people, so that might actually be a trainer out there. I completely forgot. Oh, well, thank you. I remembered you gave me that. That could definitely come in handy. I wish the items were completely randomized. Good God, I need some water after that. And my water's all the way over there, so that's uh, that's a little unfortunate. Oh, yes. Yeah, well, I definitely want to battle you. What's up? I'll show you how you fight. Come beat a little girl. Watch her. I'm calling it. I'm calling it, everybody. She's going to have something amazing. Watch it. Watch. No, never mind. <laughs> Not a bad Pokemon, but, you know. Uh, it just always seems the little, like, insignificant people have like Arceus and stuff which I need to switch back up to Linden now because he needs the experience let's so get up with a crunch because uh, I'm feeling like it's going to be super effective what I say have we ran into Bonsley before I feel like we did for some reason there we go get get killed with level 11 maybe he's going to want to move sometime soon actually I think he just wanted to dig right oh yeah we have the XP share so we technically don't need to use Ninkata but I want to try to get him to evolve soon I want to see what because I can't wait to see what he evolves into could be, I mean, I think it could be anything. All right, Baruto, we're going to switch to you. But you got to get to level 20, or when we have a Pokeball in our bag, you can evolve to Shed Ninja. So uh, you, could, you could evolve to something random either way. I'll take either one. 
Okay. You're the professor woman, so... I don't remember that. I haven't played this game in so long, like I mentioned. I don't remember which one battles you or not. Do you battle me, sir? Of course you don't. Can I just battle your slowpoke over there? See what he's got? Oh, it feels good to actually just play this game through and not have to be worrying about guides and stuff. Oh, none of you battle me, I don't think, but we're going to talk to you just in case. I wish so bad I had randomized dialogue, so I don't know what they say. They can say the most random crap ever. That would be so funny. I know you don't, I know these, none of these battle me, so I'm going to get out of here. Um, that would have been just so much funner if I, uh, more fun <laughs> if I did that. All right, so no one really up here. We can't go in there, obviously, so we're going to go back down. And maybe just, no, God, Dylan. We're going to go back down, and we're going to see if we can find some more trainers here. Because I don't, I don't feel like just ending the episode off just yet. You know, I want to get some stuff done. Um, you don't battle. You don't battle. I feel like someone down here does, though. Then that guy down there, nope. No, no one in here. Good God. Don't make it to where I have to actually cut to where I see somebody. Uh, we're gonna go talk to this kid over here, who watched me, you know, disappoint myself and not kiss Laratar. Come on and battle me, sir. I forgot you actually had to, like, talk to them. That's why I was like, oh, he's not gonna battle me. Alright, surprise me, little youngster. Youngster Joey. Oh, you're feeling it. Come on, baby. Throw something up. Poochiana, you've got to be kidding me. Man, just, they're not, they're just not coming with the, the heat, like I expected. Alright, watch, watch Poochiana be dragon type with this outrage right here. Electric Surge, so no. Okay, has Tapu Koko skill or ability. That's interesting. Okay, so you're electric. Well, we're dragging and rock, so you're kind of useless. All you know is Harden. <laughs> All right, so it might do some damage. What should be electric and dragon? Nope, not enough damage. Okay. Well, we're going to use it right again, and bam, you're gone. God, that is so funny to me. A little Ninkata using Outrage. Probably going to get confused, but you're, we're done with the battle. Nice knowing you, Youngster Joey. You're kind of worthless, but it's okay. I still love you. Your Pokemon loves you. I thought it was Tabu Coco's move. Poisoning up. Oh, just, I mean, I get that. I, I didn't know what all that means. I wish we. we sh is there. There's an item down here. Yeet. Let's go ahead and grab it. Got an antidote. Could definitely, you know, come in handy later on. There's uh, another one down here. And we got a Paralyzed Hill. Always oh, good. Some stuff to have early on in the Pokemon game, especially antidotes. Uh, never want to die to poison. God, that's always so annoying early on in the game, especially back when it used to hurt you when you would walk. God, uh, if you didn't have any with you and you couldn't fly or something, immediately your Pokemon would just die on your way back to the Poké Center, and it always sucked. Okay, so we got a couple more people we got to battle. Let's come over here to this dumpster and talk to this little lady friend. How you doing, girl? Let's let's have us a little Pokemon battle. You've been waiting for me. Okay, you're gonna teach me a very important lesson. Ooh, I like it. Throw something my way. Hit me with that tennis racket, or that's probably not racket slugma. Okay, well, as long as we just keep having these Pokemon, we're just gonna keep using Bruto. Tapu Coco is set right now. Like he's he's good to go. Uh, not gonna evolve with. Oh crap! No, we're not. It's probably Fairy type, so we're getting the heck out of here. We're really weak to fairy. We got dark and a dragon. Ugh, that is not good. All right. What you got? What you got? What you got? Those dragon rage. No, we're not counting that in this early game. No, 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 no. Is it dragon and fairy? Are you kidding me? We're not counting dragon rage early game. I, I always banned that early game. I even thought I banned it in the randomizer, but I guess I didn't. It's not fairy. How the frick? And it's not dragon. What the heck are you? I'm not counting dragon rage. I know somebody's going to get pissed off of that. But I, I, I have same thing happened in the last one. There's no way I'm counting dragon rage while we can't even live it right now. Like, he could have just aced my team right there. If he chose to do it again right there, Burrito would have died. It's over. Game over. We would have lost. Like, you can't. I hope you guys understand that that's just like unfair like I, especially if i don't even know the dragon type which somehow he wasn't a new dragon rage that makes no sense any new fairy aura god all right well we're gonna go heal up and then we're gonna take on this last guy because jeez all right well i was wrong she did hit me with something pretty hard dragon rage all right we're gonna at least wait till like somebody can survive that with like 50 hp type of coco was higher level and still couldn't survive it that's how you know it's jacked up uh, sail our Pokemon, and we're gonna go back and 
you know, see what he's got. Maybe he's got something, you know, up his sleeve. I wonder what type... I, got, I wish so bad I could, like, see what type there were after we killed them or something. Just to know, you know, like, I'm gonna, like, start writing them down looking, like, so I can look out for it, you know? I wonder what type he was. Okay, let's go ahead. Come on over here. How you doing, man? You're the best of the best, you say? Let's see what you got. You wanna know why I'm the strongest? Because it's cool to be strong, duh! That's the stupidest dialogue I ever read. Okay. <laughs> Alright, you're so strong. What you got, little guy? Rising Star Joseph. Come on, baby. He's got a spoink. You know he's a rising star. He's got a spoink. Alright, Baruto, let's just use Outrage. Level 8. Okay, that's perfect for us. Go ahead and use it. What type are you? Gotta be careful. It's bug. Okay. Alright. I gotta be careful with something that's ice type and knows like Aurora Beam or something. Like Aurora Beam. Like that would be horrible. Or somehow even knows Ice Beam. We know Ice Rage is early, so obviously it's possible. And that's gonna do absolutely nothing. So that would be. That's what I gotta be careful with. Something, known, something like that. If something used Ice Beam, I would count that death. It's not like a fixed damage where I literally cannot survive it. Yeah, I hope you get- yeah, I'm gonna stop explaining myself. I hope you get what I'm saying. There we go! Rising Star Joseph, you're not rising anymore, buddy. You need to visit the training school, you know, program again. Maybe learn a few tips. Might want to upgrade your Pokémon a little bit. You know, I got the Guardian, so... We're gonna give a TM! I wish this was randomized, but it's not. So we get the TM1 workup. That's okay. The TMs in this game are freaking fantastic, so... And they're, like I said, they're really easy to get, so that's completely alright. All right, some wear and tear. Lily, we did it. We did it for you, girl. Oh, that's the school bell. We're late to class. <laughs> God, I'm so stupid. No wonder I have no friends. All right, so we got to go to the second floor and see what all this, you know, hubbub's about with the school bell. Late to class. This is really is me. It's like literally, like I was like 20 minutes late today. <laughs> this is me. Let's go to the second bell. Where are you at, professor? How you doing? We did it. Oh, Dylan, I can't believe that you be all of my students. Fantastic. After seeing such a performance, I think I'd like to battle you myself. What do you say? Are you ready to take me on? Well, let's have it. Let's go get our own room, teacher. Hi, what you say? All right. Here it is. The major battle of the episode, guys. Nothing has been, you know, completely avoidable or completely just amazing yet, but teacher Emily, she's feeling it. She has a snover. So, normally I'd be scared of this with having our dragon and rock type out here, uh, but we're going to be all right. I don't, you know, I don't think it'll be ice, obviously, since it will be random, so, at least it's, oh, we're weak, we're weak, we're weak, mmm. You know what, we're gonna go ahead and switch to Tapu Koko, just in case, even if, like, just in case it is ice type or something, I'm not even gonna risk it, even though we're ground here. It used Thundershock, so, I mean, it wouldn't have bothered him anyway, uh, so we're gonna hit you with a dig, and see if you're electric type, so he can remember that, maybe. Which, there's so many Pokemon, and this is such a long game, I probably would not remember your electric type. No, you're not. What the heck? This is so hard to know what types they are. Like, he used Thundershock, and he's not electric. Like, how am I supposed to know? A Skitty. Okay. Um, with the XP show, we'll just keep him out, so he'll learn some levels anyway. Uh, I need to heal him up before we do anything, because this kitty could be all-powerful and us not know it. Oh, uh, let's hit it with a, um, just a crunch. Boom. And you're dead. As long as we got stab, and as long as it's not very effective, we'll pretty much always kill it with Killua. At least for a while, until he stops being such a dominant, you know, Pokemon. He learns Power Trip, okay. We should probably teach it to him, uh, just because I don't really want it to uh, captivate. So the user boosts its strength and attacks the target. The more the user stats are raised, the greater the move's power. Okay. I don't really want captivate, though. That's the only thing. The user, uh, if any Pokemon is opposing gender, uh, the user, it is charmed, which lowers uh, the special attack. So I'm going to get rid of this, because I really am not going to ever use it. And we'll go ahead and teach a power trip. Why not? <laughs> We really don't need any other moves for him, besides, like, Earthquake. Earthquake would be so nice to have. Oh, we did it! Nice! Maybe you'd like to take over as teacher for me. All joking aside, though, I do want you to take this for me. At least for me. It's a little reward for beating me. <laughs> You're right, we beat you. We got some Great Balls. We got some Pokeballs and some Great Balls now. So we're, we're looking nice. There are Great Balls. Great Balls are better than catching Pokemon than normal Pokeballs. That is complete BS, game. I have never had Great Balls be better for me than Pokeballs. It never happens like that. Pokeballs have always been better. 
I couldn't help but observe your battles. You look so very delightful um, in battle that I had no choice but to summon you here. This is Dylan. You who moved uh, from to the Alola region from the Kanto region. He's got a real, he's got a real sense for how to use moves, and I think he's gonna go far as a trainer. Yeah. I see. Then welcome, newcomer. I look forward to seeing the brilliance of your moves in my trial. Indeed, we captains are the ones who conduct the trials you will face on your way to challenging the island Kahuna. My trial is held in Verdant Cavern, the trial of Captain Lima. You can find Pokemon living anywhere, everywhere, even in patches of tall grass and ha uh, Haoli City. Perhaps you want to fill out your team a bit before attempting my trial. I want to, but I just can't catch a break, Lima. Like, help me out. Uh, I wish we had, like, you know, like... Oh, I can't think of the name. Mean look or something, so we, they can't get away. And just in case they might know that, uh, teleport. Are we are we done here? Oh, look at all the people gathered up to send me off on my journey. It was nice, you know, taking on your trainer school and all, with your freaking cheater here that knows Dragon Rage. That's some bullcrap. I have a Dragon type that. Well, yeah, I think I'll take Outrage over Dragon Rage. Actually, no, Outrage is a good move. A Dragon Rage is the best move in the game early on in Nuzlocke by far. All right, so we're, we're done with all you, right? We got more talking. We're gonna get Taurus soon. Bum, bum. Oh, look at her. Always oh, looking so freaking sad. Oh no, never mind. She's my Dylan over here. Where are you going, Lily? Just walk off. Don't even say anything. You know, I was really impressing how you battled with your Pokemon at the trainer school. And even back when you weren't yet a Pokemon trainer, Dylan, you were able to save Nebby. You were chosen by your Pokemon so quickly. I understand why now. You're so amazing. Oh, I forgot about Tauros. We can't go anywhere, Dylan. There's a freaking bull in the way. Look at how just celebrating. He's always so freaking happy. It makes me miserable. <laughs> oh, ho. Oh. If it isn't Dylan Lily. Uh, sorry for scaring you, friend. I guess it's time I get old Taurus back home. Oh, why don't you give him a little pat first, Dylan? Nah, no, I'm good. I'm good, sir. I'm good. I don't. I don't want that no freaking bull. I'm. I'm good over here. All right. I get. I guess. As long as I get to keep him. That. That's the only. That's the only agreement I have here. <laughs> you can see that the scratch girl already loves you. Pokemon become happier when we show them some care. Well, that was, that's great. That's great. Oh, uh, I, I want my Torah, so. Okay. <laughs> All the places you'll go, child, as you do, you will surely meet more Pokemon and be, uh, people who will raise your life or destroy them, like mine. The Kahunas are sure something, eh? Able to catch a, a common raging Pokemon without even needing the battle. Now that's something. I mean, like, Toro's plenty and all, but it's pretty scary. I don't want to ride on it. Well, I freaking do. I'm just scared to pet it, but I want to ride it. Uh, nope, you don't want to show me around Howl City, How I just want to go on my journey. The intro in this game is so freaking long. Alright, let's all go together as friends. I said I'd stop, but I can't stop now. It's an addiction. It truly is an addiction. I guess we should catch up with him before he goes too far, Dylan. Hello, Silly is the biggest city in here in Alola. In all Alola. Is that really, is that really the biggest city? Well, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of the Pokemon Sun Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. Like, I hope you guys had a fantastic time. You know, I'm sorry I couldn't catch any Pokemon, but, I mean, I really can't help it. Deoxys, super good. Don't want to risk losing the Pokemon I do have for a Pokemon with a low catch rate. And then Larvitar, then it's Teleport. Like, what the heck am I supposed to do with that? But I hope you still enjoyed your time here. I will try to get more Pokemon in the next episode to nickname after you guys. You know, as always, guys, make sure to check out my links in the description below if you're new to the channel. And I hope you had a great time. If you did, hit that subscribe button and join the a family today. This is not just a channel, guys. It is a family, and I can't wait to see you in the next episode of the Pokemon Sun Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. I'm out.